Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video, which is finally going to be my review, my thoughts on the Brute Farmer 120 set of color pencils. Now, I am going to be talking about the Square Editions. There are many different versions of the Brute Farmers. My set is the Square version, and the set I'll, be have, I'll have listed below will be the Square Edition. So... First and foremost, I'm just going to say this right here now, I love them. These are, hands down, in my opinion, the best budget-friendly pencil that you can find. Now, if I remember correctly, these on Amazon sold for $30 or $35, and I think it has a 5% off coupon. I don't know about the time to deal or not, but they're roughly around for about $40. Um, I really, really think that these are the best pencils that you can probably find for budget friendly. Um, like I said, this is going to be for the square set. I don't know the other sets because there are many other sets of boot farmers. Um, but yeah. So. Let's start out with the pencils themselves and the color range. So when you get the pencils, it comes in a tin like this. It's a plain black tin. It does have a slip cover over the top. I don't know where my slip cover went. You open it up, and inside you will find we will find a blank color chart. This is what the colors are all in the set. And this is just how, <coughs> excuse me, they are here in the trays. So you'll see some like reddish purples and browns over here. And then you'll find some more reds and purples mixed around, you know. I just went with what was it in the chart. Eventually I'll get a case for these and I'll put them into color order, you know. And they do come with nice, these nice trays with the straps um, on there, so you can lift them up very nicely. And there are three trays. Now, let's talk about the color range. Because in my opinion, that is the biggest selling point for me here, is the color range here. You have a very nice selection of reds, which you see in the demo video, how vibrant those reds are. But there's many different shades of red. They might look somewhat similar on camera, but there are other very different shades of the reds and the pink that you mix together. And they are very easy to blend together. I find red is my hardest color to find blends too. But you see you have nice pinkish red light tones, mid tones there, some nice darkish red tones here. And it all combines together very, very nicely. Now, in my opinion, I know people might not find this very fair. I'm going to be bringing up two high-end pencils in this review. And they are the Faber-Castell Polychromos and the um, Prismacolor Premiers. Now, the reason why I am bringing them up is because these pencils are marketed as an oily, an oily pencil. Which, after using them, leads me to believe that they are like 60% oil, 40% wax, or maybe 70% oil, 30% wax. Somewhere around that blend, you know. Because you can layer these pencils. I'll show you. And you can get a nice... If you use a light hand, you can get a lot of um, layers. So here when I did the skim... 
this was about, I want to say six, eight layers, going very, very light, very soft layers, just going over and over and over. And the paper, by the time I was done, I think by the time I got to like the sixth or seventh layer, the paper had enough, so I did a finally burnishing layer. But you can sit there and do that, or when I did this little part here for the demo, you can see I did my normal one, two, three blind, which is um, light layer, medium layer, dark layer, go way back down to it, you know. But you can do both with them. Where in high chromos, those ones you can layer with. You can blind with them, but they're mostly for the layering. Prisma colors, you can blend with them, you can layer with them if you have a very really light hand, but they're mostly like a blending pencil. So if you have any of the sets of the Prisma colors, the polychromos, and you're too, you know, like nervous to use them, you can get this set here, and these are a perfect blend of both, so you can practice with these, which are a 30 something, 40 something dollar pencil, versus using a 100 something dollar pencils, and you can get that feel for them, and you can get that practice to slip right into your higher ends. <coughs> there you go. Now, you, on the pencils you, themselves, you'll see a number. And I think this is the name. Could be wrong with the color name. And then that's how you have brute funnel. Now what I think she show you is what the pencils can do. <clears throat> this entire page, this entire page was colored just with the brute funnel of colored pencils. Nothing else. Only thing I did was I used, um, my eraser here to go through this view and go circles in the sky. That's all I did. I will come in with some white Posca highlights, stuff like that afterwards, or white Uniball signals to highlight all kinds of stuff afterwards before you have this just boot furnace. So they go down very nice, you see <coughs> There's no, like, waxy buildup or, like, um, you know when you go back and forth, you see the pencil lines, the wax lines. None of that is super smooth. So you have that nice, almost artist quality finish to the page. Now what you just need to do was, I did use this, and what I do is go like this over when I'm done. And that will buff out the wax lines. So let's say... When you color... And you go over a spot... You see how it kind of has like... I don't know how well picked up, but it'll have like those wax lines to it. But you just go over like this... With your brush, a few times very lightly, you know, you don't have to very high pressure. It smooths it out because you have all those lines. <coughs> But yeah, I loved it. It was very easy to run out, very smooth, and I was, like I said, I was very impressed with how bright and vibrant the reds are. I have a hard time with red. I can never get, like, a gradient to the reds. For some reason, with Prisma, Polys, any kind of pencil, when it comes to reds, I struggle. They always just look like the same color. It always just has the same, like... Has like a slight difference if you look close enough, but it's always the same color. And here you really tell... The difference. <coughs> so overall, these pencils are very nice on the hand. Um... <coughs> excuse me, when I was... First use them, it was a little tricky, like, you use a square pencil. But after a while, your hand just gets used to it. And he just goes right through. Sharpening them, um, it takes, I would say, maybe 
one or two sharpens to really get used to them. But once you get used to them, a sharp is nice, easy. I don't have my sharper and around so I can't show you. Um, but it's very nice, easy, just kind of use it and go type of thing. They sharpen the lighter pencil, really. It's just trying to get used to holding a square pencil as you sharpen. So, yeah. Overall, I have honestly nothing but nice things to say about these pencils. These are absolutely amazing, and there's so many colors that I have not even used yet. Like, I haven't really gotten into the blues, all the pinks, the greens, I got a lot yet. I still have so many of the grays and stuff to use yet. I am just so excited to, you know, dive into using these and to really find the color combinations so like that in the future. So you'll be seeing me use these quite a lot on my channel if you do stick around. Um, because like I said, I just absolutely love them. So I will link to list, um, yeah, I will link down below the Amazon listing for these. That way you can get, make sure you get the square set, that is what I'm talking about. And if you have any other kind of questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I have not experienced any problems with them so far. I did have one pencil where the lead fell out, but that was more me learned how to sharpen pencils after um, I learned how to sharpen them and, and hold the sharpener and twist, have had any breakages. Um, <clears throat> in terms of coloring, I haven't had any like wax bloom or any kind of like excess wax on the paper. You know, like when you reach that point of filling up the paper, you'll start getting that wax build up. I have not had any problems with that myself. Um, if you do have that problem with it, like I said, um, do yourself one of these. Just as a makeup brush, you find a Dollar Tree, your Dollar Store, your grocery store for a dollar, and you lightly brush your way. Never use your hands because the heat from your hand can activate the wax. And it will smudge it. So I always use this and just you can rebuff it out and then afterwards and boom. You have a nice silky smooth coverage. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this brief review. I am not the best at reviews, I will admit. Um at least in my opinion I'm not. But I, overall I love these pencils. <coughs> And I, I honestly think that these would be a much needed addition to anyone's um, coloring supplies, coloring collection, whatever you want to call it. I think everyone, anyone will love these pencils. So every day, have an all amazing day. Until next time, happy coloring.